We now know the name of a man who died in a high-rise apartment building fire in Lackawanna County last night. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy is live for us in Scranton with the latest on this story. Julie? Good evening, Nick and Candace. The fire was ruled accidental. We still don't know exactly the cause of that fire, but just moments ago we learned the name of the man who died in the fire, 63-year-old Joseph Thomas, and the coroner says that he died of a cardiac arrest during the fire. One person was killed after a fire broke out in an apartment building in Scranton Sunday night. It's been determined as accidental by our fire investigators. It happened on the 500 block of Pine Street at the United House Apartments building. Shortly after dispatch, some of the additional information that came in through 911 and that was conveyed to the units as they were responding that there were potentially people trapped. 63-year-old Joseph Thomas was pulled from the fire and taken to Regional Hospital of Scranton where he was pronounced dead. The fire was contained to the sixth floor, but damage spread. The fire floor and above would have smoke damage and then some of the apartment units directly below the uh, apartment that was involved with some water damage. All 90 apartments were evacuated Sunday night. 104 people now displaced. Dozens staying at an emergency shelter set up inside Scranton High School. In this case, because of the number of people that was expected or the number of people that were evacuated, uh, we couldn't get places to put them all in the, in the hotel. So we had to go into our standard uh, operations, what we call congregative sheltering. The American Red Cross prepared to provide shelter for the long haul. As soon as we can and, and our clients are able to go back to some kind of normalcy, it, it, it could be a couple of days, it could be, um, you know, a couple of weeks. Back at the scene, crews on site working to clean up the damage left behind by the blaze. No word on when residents can return to their homes. A tough situation all around and uh, you know, we feel for them and we're going to try our best to do anything we can to help them get back in. Now, firefighters did rescue a second person from the building. Their condition is still unknown. Now, residents actually are just as we are speaking now entering the building again. We will have more tonight from residents about the moment that the fire started last night. Reporting live in Scranton, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News.